Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. My name is Yuki, and today I'm going to tell you a story about the little apple. One breezy day, the little apple clung tightly onto a branch as a gentle wind blew by. An older apple noticed the younger apple's despair, chuckled, and said, Looks like you're holding on to that branch for your dear life, little buddy. I am! I don't want to fall to the ground. Don't you know it's hard and dusty down there? The ground is filled with worms and creepy crawling bugs. Why just take a look for yourself? Can't you see all the rotten apples down there? I know you're concerned about falling from the tree, but some good things have come from the ground. That's not life for me. I plan on being handpicked by a special family, taken to their home and placed into a beautiful fruit bowl. With my shiny red skin, I shall be the most delicious looking piece of fruit in the entire bowl. There is much more to being an apple than just having shiny red skin. Yes, I know. One of the children will probably take me to school for lunch or perhaps have me for a snack after school. He will know that I was more than just a beautiful apple with a shiny red peel. He will find out that my fruit is great tasting and healthy for him. Yes, yes, you could be all those things for a season. Why, after he has finished eating the fruit, and all that is left of my core, he will, will, will probably throw my core in the trash. Yes, that is what your life could be like if you decide to live for the moment and choose to reap the quick rewards. What do you mean? What other life is there? I've been trying to tell you, if you just slow down for a moment and listen. When the winds come, you may be shaken from the tree and fall to the ground. It is then that your shiny red skin will keep you from splitting apart and becoming applesauce. Once on the ground, a hungry squirrel may find you and carry you away from the base of the tree. Once you've met its needs and filled its stomach, it shall leave your core and a little fruit behind. That doesn't sound a bit better. In fact, it sounds worse. Please allow me to finish. Then your real work begins. Once you are left on the ground, the rest of your fruit shall slowly rot and blend into the ground. It is at this point that your seeds shall be buried into the earth. For a period of time, the seeds will remain in the ground, but then, ever so slowly, something wonderful begins to happen. The seeds will begin to sprout, breaking through the dirt. The sunlight and rain will help the sprout to grow into a small tree. Within a few seasons, the tree shall grow big enough to start producing apples of its own. From then on, the tree shall produce hundreds of apples each season. So you see, little apple, there is so much more you can be. Wow! As the winds picked up, you could see both the apples swinging in the breeze, hoping beyond hope, that they will fall to the ground and begin their life's work. Our lives can be very much like the little apples. We can choose to live only for the moment 
fulfilling our own plans and desires. The plans we have for our lives may be good, but God always has a better plan for us. If we are patient, if we take time, and if we listen to what He softly tells us. We can surround ourselves with many things to make us comfortable. But these things can only last for a season. Or we can use the time, talent, and money God gave us for His purpose and glory. It is only then that we can reach our full potential. In Proverbs 19 verse 21, it says, People can make many different plans, but only the Lord's plans will happen. I hope you are blessed by my story today. Thank you!